All right, guys, I am on my way. I've got a few errands to run, but before I get into the errands, this is a very special day for me. And let me bag out first. I don't wanna hit, the, hit my neighbor, make sure I don't see him. Can't talk while I'm driving right now. Pull out of this driveway. Okay, now, today is a very special day for me. Today is my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday. I thank God, first of all, for waking me up to see this day. This is the day that the Lord has made. And I'm just glad that I woke up. That is the best birthday gift that I could ever receive is the fact that I woke up this morning. So, thank God for that. But anywho, I am on my way to pick up my mother. Um, she's leaving the hospital. And she was a little ill and had to get some tests run. But thankfully, she's okay. She's healed and she's doing better so I didn't share this on my on any videos recently because I haven't posted anything lately in, um, other than the Heaven's Pearls collab that we did but other than that I had nothing to go up but anyway yeah she's getting out of the hospital <coughs> she feels better and um, she still wants to celebrate with me on my birthday. So we are going to have some lunch, probably dinner. Let me make sure my doors are locked because there's a person right in the street trying to um, raise some money for something. And I wanna make sure my doors are locked. But anyway, um, I'm so sorry. I can't donate right now. This is not the time, especially, you know, the lights are going to change. But anyway, um, yeah, she still wants to celebrate my birthday with me because I like to eat early sometimes, you know, like anywhere between three and five o'clock in the afternoon, evening. That's when I like to eat my dinner. <clears throat> I don't know. I just feel that it digests better. You know, I just, I feel better physically so you know and if I need something else before I go to bed then I'll have a light snack so anyway that's what we're gonna do today I have to run a couple errands I need to go to Walmart pick up some medication I don't know she may have an errand I may have to take her to but I also want to stop in to, if I have time, and that's only if I have time, I want to stop in to Home Goods and Dollar Tree, maybe, because I kind of want to um, see what's, you know, what's new there. The spring is in the air, and mm, that's not exciting to me because I don't like spring. I don't like spring, don't like summertime. But anyway, I want to see what they have new, and if it's anything that strikes out at me, I'll pick it up. But I'm starting to do very little uh, spring um, decorating. I have one area in my house that I um, 
switched up because I had Valentine's things on it and I decided to just put some just make it kind of a neutral color and just I just start picking up items in my home and putting things together I've got to finish my water I've got apple cider vinegar in here I don't know if you guys can see it I try to drink I try to drink at least six maybe eight of these in one day because <clears throat> I'm increasing my water intake which I need to do we all need to increase our water intake if you're not drinking enough water like a doctor told me we should be drinking at least four to six of these a day um, now when you're traveling like I'm doing today even though I'm not going very very far um, uh, I don't want to be going to the bathroom every 10 minutes <laughs> so that won't be too good so this if, when I hurry up and finish drinking this one this uh oh I gotta pull over It's a fire ambulance and I can't pull over now but they're on their way let me see which way is he going oh good he went the other way so he's not coming our way good but anyway I forgot what I was saying before I saw that they were just pulling out of their firehouse too and that distracted me made me forget everything I was saying <laughs> the bathroom that's where I left off I don't want to have to use the bathroom every 10 minutes or every five minutes but my son told me he said well the way you do that to not have to use it that often is to sip it that's yeah, true I actually feel like I have to go to the bathroom again <laughs> you know that's why I don't want to drink water when I'm out about out and about this is not good I just used the bathroom about what 10 minutes ago and here I gotta go again Boy, I'm at the hospital now waiting on my mother for them to wheel her out and I tell you I had to use the bathroom so bad you guys Use my hand sanitizer. Um, they almost didn't let me in because I can't find my my COVID card. You know, my um, vaccination card. I have it, and I thought that I had it in my wallet, and I thought I had a picture of it because he says security says, "Do you have at least a picture of it?" I can't find it. I'm gonna have to uh, when I get home. I'm going to have to look for that card because I do have it. Okay, but I, I'm i just upset at myself because I didn't come prepared. And I hope that when we go eat that they let me in. Because, you know, some restaurants, oh boy, you never know what their protocol is. Okay, I see one patient that came out with the nurse. Now I'm waiting on my mother. I told the guy, the security, I said, look, I got to use the bathroom really bad. I said, I'm not going to see a patient. I'm not going upstairs. You can follow me if you want to, you know, follow me and see that I go into the bathroom. You know, <laughs> he says, I don't make the rules. I know. I said, I know. I, I know. I'm just saying. I, he said, well, let me see what I can do. Let me ask. So he went in, I guess, to ask the nurse or whoever this guy is. And he said, he said yes. I was like, oh, thank God. Now, I have not taken any more sips of this water. I don't think I'm going to right now. I'm going to wait um, until I get to my next destination. <laughs> but anywho, <laughs> I had to go so bad. There was only one one stall in the ladies' bathroom, and uh, there was somebody in it. And I'm just like dancing, like, oh, you know, doing all this stuff. And I'm like, Lord, please don't let me pee on myself. <laughs> Are you guys comfortable with taking off your mask? Now, every state may be different. Here in California, we are able to take our mask off indoors for most parts. Um, <clears throat> and in some places, you have to show your um, vaccination card or show that you have a negative uh, test. But... Um, so your state may be different. You still may have to wear your mask. But if you are like California, do you feel like you're comfortable um, taking your mask off? Or is, are you going to wear your mask all the time? You know, how do you guys feel about that? 
let me know in the comment section. I would love to know your thoughts on this just out of curiosity. My thought is I'm not comfortable taking my mask off yet. Even though they said the cases have dropped. And I think, don't quote me on this, I believe there are not any more hospitalizations or it could be that there's they're so low I forgot so don't quote me on that but they're down that's all I know but I'm not comfortable taking my mask off yet and I don't know when I'm gonna stop wearing my mask I just don't know yet um of course when I'm out and about outside an open thing like this like when I left the hospital from using the bathroom I left and walked past the men that were out there. I took it off. So my car is right here, you know, on the round roundabout area where you pick up patients. But I took it off then. And this is how I wear mine. I wear it around my, my wrist, you know, when I'm going to wear. But I don't know if I'm going to take mine off yet. I'm not quite comfortable. Um, I'm just not comfortable. Even though I am fully vaccinated um i did not get the booster i just got the first two shots um the way that second shot the way it made me feel i said nope i'm not getting the booster well i didn't know we were going to have to get a booster after the second shot i thought that was it and then here they come talking about booster sometime after that i'm like what and i said oh come on now then after you get the booster, then it's going to be one you get another one. I'm like, oh, come on now. I'm not going to do all that. You're not going to be pumping me with all that stuff in, inside me. But I will slowly wean myself off um, little by little, taper off little by little in certain places. But I don't know when I'm going to start doing that. So I don't know. Just leave me a comment down below. And let me know what you guys feel about that. These ladies are bringing some beautiful, long stem, red bouquet, huge thing of red roses. Ooh, <laughs> I love roses. wonder wonder what's in this bag oh i bet it's something nice can't wait to see these are called avocado egg rolls and there's some sauce there that's very very rich i didn't like the the sauce but the egg rolls are delicious and then i have a side um, Caesar salad which was pretty good too now that's my mother she has some I think salmon some uh, green beans as you can see and some mashed potatoes and here the lady is serving me my birthday little sweet treat because it's not cake and she didn't sing happy birthday <laughs> I said I'm gonna have to blow it out. Mm. I don't know why they don't sing happy birthday. You see, they don't sing. I don't wonder why. That is Noxzema. That's an old-fashioned deep cleansing cream. And I used to use that back in the day. She used to use it as well. And um, I can't find it. I've always wanted to have some more of it. But she found it somewhere. So we were just laughing about it because it's so funny. You know, her giving that to me as a gift. But I, I was happy. I was just glad to get it. I'm like, yay! <laughs> Hey 
guys it's the next day this is sunday uh february the 27th the day after my birthday i had a wonderful day yesterday uh, me and my mother enjoyed our dinner uh, there were some things about the food that wasn't that um good we had a few complaints <laughs> you know but overall you know we enjoyed it uh, let me tell you about a few. Let me just bag up first because I always feel like I'm going to hit the wall or something. With my mother's food, it was so funny. We actually laughed at it. We had to call the um, our waiter to come over several times because she ordered this soup that was warm, like lukewarm, and she wanted it hot. And she asked him to... Oh, boy, my phone's shaking again. Sorry, guys. She asked him to make it really, really hot. Not like piping hot, but hot. You know, you can tell it's hot. We have to blow it a little bit. They brought it back. Do you know it was still pretty much just a, a wee bit hotter, but still on the warm side? And she said, wow, I guess this restaurant is just not for her. <laughs> so we kind of had to laugh it off, you know. And then her green beans, they were kind of like al dente, more on the crunchy side, and she let me taste it. I don't like mine like that either. I like them soft, but not mushy. I don't, you know, because when they're mushy like that, to me, they're overly cooked, and then you cook all the nutrients out of your vegetables. So she asked the waiter to send them back and to cook them a little bit. So he said, well, what I'll do, uh, I'll take it back, but I'll have them cook you some more make it a little bit soft okay a few minutes later which it takes a little bit longer than a few minutes to make it softer and it was not it wasn't right she tasted she says well this is not much different not much different than the other one and I said what so she let me taste it and was still on the crunchy side and I thought oh my goodness then, <laughs> what else happened? I asked them to bring me moi, um, plastic uh, fork, plastic ware, because I don't like to eat, I don't know, you call me strange if you want to, but I don't like to use the utensils um, that somebody ate out of. I know they wash them while I'm using their plates. You would think, what's the difference? Well. I don't like to eat out of the plates either, but how in the world are you going to go to eat at a restaurant if you don't use their plates, right? But I don't know. I just don't like using their utensils that somebody else ate off of, and I know they wash them, but to me that's not good enough. So I always either bring my plastic wear or I ask them for their plastic wear, and that's just how I am. I just don't, don't feel comfortable at all. Anyway, they bring me some plastic wear and they bring her plastic wear. Now, she didn't ask for plastic wear. I did. You know, he could have brought two, but the way he laid it down on her side where her plate was, like she was going to eat with the two. And she said, what is this? She picked it up and said, what is this? She said, oh, I didn't ask for any plastic wear. I'd like to have the silverware, please. So he said, oh, you know, and then she... Then the guy walked away and she goes, poor baby. And it was so funny the way she said it. Poor baby. <laughs> you know, it's just like to say these young young ones that work in these uh, restaurants these days, they don't all have it together, you know? I mean, one thing after another. Then, I'm probably leaving out some more things I can't really think of. I gotta get on this freeway. Hold on. The lady brought over a piece of some type of sweet something with some ice cream on top and a candle. So I said, oh, wait a minute. Let me grab my cam my camera. And she goes, oh, I'm not going to sing happy birthday. And I thought to myself, well, it's cold-blooded. Why not? It's my birthday. You could sing it. Well, good grief. You know, they normally do. Then later on, after, you know, I'm tasting it a little bit. I didn't really eat all of it. My mother tasted a little bit. It was all hard and wasn't soft like it should have been. So, 
Later on, my mother hears that somebody is singing happy birthday to another table. And I said, oh, they are? I said, oh, so they're going to sing happy birthday to that table, but not to me. Now, I started to feel some type of way. I'm like, well, wait a minute now. Why aren't you? It's, it's not that you didn't do it the first time. It's the fact that you're doing it to somebody else. You're singing it to somebody else, but you don't do it to me. So that made me feel like, okay, is there favoritism at this restaurant or something? Do you just sing happy birthday to special people? So I was like, okay, I don't think I like this. So I said to my mother, I said, maybe we should have the manager come over and explain what's going on. Because, I mean, come on now. It's their birthday and it's my birthday too. If she didn't tell me this, I wouldn't. Oh my gosh. There's a fool on this freeway. Guys, he came right over here and went right in front of me. He needs to get caught because he's weaving in and out. He went over to the fast lane and went and then back over. So, I mean, I'm paying attention, but that was dangerous. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, angels, for covering me in this car in the name of Jesus. So the manager comes over and we explain what happened. You know what he said? That they're not obligated to sing happy birthday to you. It depends on the server. Each server can do what they want to do. There's too many crazies on this freeway. I gotta get off of here. It's just people just driving crazy. It's just, ugh. Making me feel a little uneasy. I can't wait to get home now. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm going the wrong way. Lord have mercy. I'm supposed to be going to Home Goods. I didn't get a chance to go. I didn't get a chance to go to Home Goods yesterday because it was late when I got home. He comes over and he said it, it's up to the discretion of the server who brings your little sweet treat if they want to do it or not and because they got um they stopped doing it or something it didn't make sense what he was talking about it didn't make really good sense um they can if they want to they got um the restaurant got sued before because some type of group or someone didn't like the fact that they were singing happy birthday. I guess they got offended. It could have been some type of person that was uh, some type of cultural or religious, you know, group or something. I don't know. But um, it didn't make sense because I'm like, okay, well, if you guys got sued, what makes you think I'm not going to sue you because you didn't sing happy birthday to me? I mean, I could sue you if I want to. I'm not going to, but I could. And he would just, uh, he apologized and said what he had to say but even me and even my mother said it doesn't make sense what he's saying but we're just listening to him let him carry out his saying what he was saying and then he says uh you know we're well, sorry about that but happy birthday anyway mm, thank you anyway now if he had said well you know what i'm gonna have somebody come sing it i would not have wanted it it's too late because you should have did it when you brought my suite to me so that's unfortunate, you know. It just made me feel like... It made me feel like... Are you prejudiced? That's how I felt as the birthday girl. I did not feel special at the restaurant. You know, so... But I said, okay, well, it is what it is. And then he had the nerve to say, as he was leaving the table, okay, you guys, come back. You know, hope to see you again. Come back tomorrow. And my mother said, no, we're not coming back tomorrow. <laughs> And then when he left, he said, uh, no, we said, we're not coming back ever <laughs> to this place. <laughs> you mean you, you're you going to treat me like this and expect me to come back? You haven't given me a reason to come back to this restaurant. <laughs> I'm like, no, thank you. I would not be back. Okay? And I don't think we left him a tip. No. For what? What kind of service did we get? Were, were we happy and satisfied? I think not. <clears throat> so that's the end of that story. <laughs> oh yeah, thank you. You let me go. Let me tell you something about pedestrians. O-M-G. Yesterday, on my birthday, the 26th, I'm driving down the street 
and I was approached. Oh yeah, no, no, this is what it was. I was about to turn left and I had the green arrow at an intersection, a very busy street. I had the arrow, I had the right of way. There was a pedestrian and I believe he might have been on something mentally not good. I mean, you have to be either on drugs, um, your mind has to be halfway gone for you to walk, literally walk across the street. He doesn't have the right of way. Just going to walk in a fast pace across the way and all of us cars are turning left in, in the intersection on a green arrow. Now, I thought to myself, how stupid can you be? I said to myself, sir, are you ready to die? This is a good way to kill yourself, okay? Now, but we don't know. Maybe he was trying to kill himself. But I happen to be the one to have to stop kind of like hard to avoid from hitting him. I don't want 50 points on me, even though he was in the wrong. But I'm not supposed to be hitting the pedestrians, okay? But I could have, if I was going any faster, if I wasn't paying attention, thank God I didn't hit him. But I blew my horn like crazy. I thought to myself, what are you doing? You must be ready to die. I prayed for the man after I turned because I felt so sad. I felt sad for him. I just felt really, really sad. <clears throat> OMG again today. Mind you, forgot to tell you, I'm, I've just left church. And I wanted to go into home goods because I didn't get a chance to go yesterday. But this is what happened. Let me see. I'm trying to find a parking space. I guess I'll park here. But anyway, I um, the same thing happened today. Leaving church. I'm driving down the street. And I'm about, yeah, I'm driving down the street. Full speed all of us cars we have the right of way there's no reason for pedestrian to come walking cross all of a sudden this young lady oh my gosh she's walking out fast she, she kind of continues to walk and here i am it just seems like i'm the one that keeps meeting with these people and i'm like okay lord are you trying to give me a sign or something or, or what's going on you know it's just weird because she's walking across the street so i I kind of like had to not slam on the brakes, but kind of like slow, get slow. But I was still going too fast. Now, I didn't want to hit her. I could have easily hit this girl, okay? I chose to stop. I mean, I knew that I had clearance behind me. But so I stopped and she's like telling me, go, 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 go. But I didn't, I didn't feel like I should. Okay, I, I could have, maybe I should, I don't know. But I did what I felt I need to do was stop and let her go. Because I don't know what she would have tried to do if I had continued. You see what I'm saying? She could have tried to put herself in jeopardy like that to get me in trouble. People are crazy, guys. You have to be careful. You don't know the intentions of people. The way I thought, I just could not believe that this happened to me twice. Okay? Twice. Yesterday and today. This is crazy. But anywho, I'm about to go into um, Home Goods right now. So let's see what kind of new stuff they have for spring. So let's go.
Okay, guys, I'm back home. I just stopped in to look around for some spring stuff, like I told you. But I didn't buy anything spring-related, so the only thing I picked up was these two items here. I got this little nice canister. This was um, $7.99. I got that for my coffee pots. And, of course, it has a wooden top that I don't like. So, I'm going to have to do something with that because, you know, I'm a glam girl. I'm not, not into wood too much, at least not brown wood. And that's how it looks inside. So, I like these little, um, whatever you call these porcelain type of um, containers where you can put a lot of things in there. You can pour sugar in there or anything. But I'm probably going to spray paint this or do something with it to make it white. And then I'm in my bedroom, so that's why you see this quilt here. Then I picked up some wine glasses, and this is 6 I Tali. Beautiful glasses. And this was... $14.99 for six and I think they are beautiful this is how it looks and I can't wait to use them in a beautiful tablescape you guys will see in due time so those were the only two things that I picked up uh, they did have some nice spring items but I didn't get any of those I just want to show you guys my birthday cards that I got from yesterday that is so pretty that came from my mother I think I showed you these these two this one and another one yeah this one I showed you I think wishing you a birthday filled with many blessings I love the the uh, butterflies on them they're so pretty my husband got this one uh, for my beautiful wife what is love is believing in what we have. Aaron gave me this one and says, happy birthday. I love the balloons. But my Valentine flowers are still trying to hang in there, but some of them have died and these are slowly dying. But I think, I just think they're so pretty, especially these. I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but they're so cute. And uh, I think these are daisies, I believe. Now these, I'm not sure what they are, but I think these are gonna last longer. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my birthday little uh, rant. <laughs> it was quite interesting. But if you're new to the channel, welcome, welcome to the channel. Thank you guys so much for joining. And if you have not joined the Jazzy Green Style family, go ahead and click on that red subscribe button right now. Double tap your bell so that you will be notified of all my videos. And I will see you guys later. Thank you. Bye-bye.